Breaking news while you were sleeping, the streets of Los Angeles turned chaotic after protests against the George Zimmerman verdict became violent. It is Tuesday morning and I'm Karen Greer. Karen's back from vacation. Welcome back again. I'm Ted Hall. We're glad you're joining us. Protesters were seen waving signs, kicking storefronts and swarming oncoming vehicles. More details on this story, but first, Chesley and our weather. Chesley is downtown today from a, uh, the kickoff of a special place. Good morning, Ches. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. Yes, right behind me is the new Skyview Ferris wheel set to open up ribbon cutting at noon today and you can begin to take a ride. Let's get your forecast going this morning. Not too bad. We're starting off with just a few clouds overhead. No rain coming out of those clouds at all. Temperatures are fairly muggy in the 70s. You got some uh, low 70s down to the south, 73 degrees in the grain, 73 degrees also in Thomaston, 71 in Atlanta, a couple 60s up there to the north. On the wisometer today, we're going to give it a nine. It's going to be a hot afternoon. Temperatures right around 88 degrees for a high again a nine on the wisometer. Good morning, Elle. Good morning, Chesley. Thank you. They are doing some construction, guys, some restriping of the lanes on 285 eastbound around Roswell Road. Keep an eye out for that and them. They should have that picked up closing in on 6 a.m. Right now, not causing any issues. Let's show you that top end of town, Marietta. You're going 69 miles per hour if you're on I-75. Clearly not the speed limit. Just keep that in mind. And you're going 55 if you're on 285. But again, watch out for that little construction zone right around Roswell Road. Good morning again, Karen. Feels good, nice to say that. Good morning to you, L501 right now. And uh, some serious news is violence and vandalism in L.A. overnight ended with 13 arrests during protests over George Zimmerman's acquittal in the shooting death of Trayvon Martin. Just before 1 o'clock this morning, the Los Angeles Police Department declared the protest an unlawful assembly and dispersed the gathering. A majority of peaceful protesters were gathered at a park, but then the mayor says a violent group of people, about 150 of them, split off and walked up and down a street, rushing into businesses, attacking pedestrians and bicyclists, and throwing objects at police. Eric Smith was working inside a Taco Bell. Some kids ran inside the um, in my, inside my store and tried to beat somebody up for a phone.